As of yesterday, a huge article has dropped outlining some key things that are going to come in light fall and we'll be going over a couple of them in this video. The resilience nerf, I did make a small video about this before, we know the cost of the mods but in terms of what was released in the article, the damage reduction is going to go to 30% from its original 40% now and it will have a smoother way of increasing to tier 10 so you don't always feel like you need to have tier 10 resilience to participate in certain activities. I think this is a very good change however I would like to see it go a little bit down maybe to like 20-25% because we are still pretty unkillable in certain situations but we'll see how this plays out in Lightfall. The font of might changes, that changes from 25% in this current state to 22% when Lightfall comes out. We did get a little bit of a clue in terms of the article in regards to high energy fire. It will be cut by about 50% from its original 20% state right now to 10%. Not really anyone who just uses high energy fire anyways because it's not stackable with a lot of other things. I do think this will go the same way in Lightfall, but we are expecting to see a lot of changes. So I wouldn't be surprised if you were able to stack this. The font of might changes in my opinion are both a buff and a nerf. I feel like it's a buff in terms of versatility. You can buff your solar and void weapons while being on an arc subclass whereas now you have to be on the solar subclass to buff your solar weapons. It does have a nerf however in terms of it being 3% less damage when it's stacked to 3 times and because of it being a damage specific we would need to stack different mods to make your builds work. Assuming from what's being said now it would make sense for the energy specific type mods to cost 3 energy in your leg armor slots and the kinetic mod to cost 2 energy. As it wouldn't make sense for the kinetic mod to be the same cost as energy because you don't really use your kinetic that much anyways. But you can still stack 3 energy specific mods to get your 22% buff for a total energy of 9 in your leg armor. This is the way I'm looking at it so this makes sense to me. Armor chargers will decay after 10 seconds but with the time dilation mod equipped it will increase that decay timer. They also say that orbs of power are not the only way to get armor charges. Even there is one artifact perk that will come out in season 20 that will help you gain your armor charges when you pick up a fire spirit. So that means that there will be different ways to get armor charge without only relying on orbs of power. They have also taken out MASH game as of season 20, but they do have plans to bring it back just to freshen up the gameplay once in a while, but they also said that they might not bring it back for a while, so I'm assuming for a couple seasons they won't bring it back, and then they'll bring it back for a couple GMs I would assume, or something like that. The loadouts, you won't get 10 loadouts, you will get 30. You will get a total of 10 per character and a total of 30 per account, so you can make 10 different builds on Hunter, 10 on Titan, and 10 on warlock which is great news i also thought that it was going to be 10 for your whole account but you get 30 let me know your thoughts on all these changes and i do want to know what you guys think the cost of energy will be for this new font of might mod how much energy will it be for an energy damage specific mod or a kinetic specific mod let me know what you guys think 